You won't believe, but you know, my dream was never to be a doctor. Really? What is I don't I don't come from a family of doctors either. <clears throat> There's nobody in my small family who is a doctor. My dream was to be a hotel manager. Uh, it was my dream as a child, as yeah. a young man. So, so why don't you uh, enter university about hotel management? Oh, it's a long story. I had a girlfriend who said that I have to become something. And she sent me to medical school. Younger uh, friends sent yes. you medical school? Yes. She left me after six months, but got me stuck for seven years. <laughs> Yeah, in medical school, and uh, uh, at and, that time you applied it in love. Uh, uh, <laughs> I uh, was afraid to say no. Uh, because you are the, the one who never resigned, right? And yeah. I'm an only child, and my parents always wanted to be that the child will be a doctor, you know, like Vietnamese parents. But I want to tell you that I think that I have more passion to the communication with people, and I think that in hotel, it's a hotel is a service industry, just like healthcare. Healthcare is also a service industry in a way. Chào mừng quý vị và các bạn đang cùng quay trở lại với chương trình Việt Nam trong tim tôi và ngày hôm nay chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục gặp gỡ bác sĩ Rafi để tìm hiểu xem một ngày làm việc của ông ấy như thế nào nhé. This is a very uh, modern approach is that uh, you told me before. It's not modern. It's the norma in yeah. the United States. It's yeah. modern here, but this is the normal thing. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> in Vietnam, most of the ambulances are for transport. They are minibus. Yeah. This is, these ambulances are to work. You can work in this car. Uh -huh. It's a working environment yeah. on four wheels. So you can go very far and you can still, uh, you know. We do the diagnosis and the treatment, not yeah. just the transport. Yeah. I want to create a 911 service, yeah. which has an aircraft, has a fleet of cars, and we can go everywhere. Yeah. And I want it to be affordable for the Vietnamese patient, for the Vietnamese family. If you have a patient in Za Lai Con Tum, for instance, yeah. or in, uh, I know where, in uh, Nhe An, and you want to move him to Hanoi, today it's impossible. Because the little Toyota ambulance is not equipped. The doctor and the nurse sit in the front next to the driver, family behind, and we go. This is not the way to do. <coughs> This is the way to do. Yeah. It's a whole driving emergency room on four wheels. Yeah. Uh, move, yes, because we have an emergency, so the car has to go. I want a system where you call and there's a response, yeah. like a 911. And that's what you see is happening here. Hotels, everybody calls us. By the way, it's a free of charge, it's a free of charge uh, service. Uh -huh. We don't charge. Yeah. We don't charge for the ambulance. Yeah. So anywhere you're in town, you can call. In five minutes, the, um, the, in, the, in five minutes the ambulance has to leave. So in, maybe in 10, 15 minutes, they will come back and bring the patient here. Hồi đấy chị là làm về đầu tư thì chị có làm việc với cả Rafi để giúp Rafi um, đầu tư một dự án bệnh viện thì uh, cái dự án đấy thì vẫn đang đang tiếp diễn vì Rafi rất là ấp ủ một cái ước mơ là sẽ mở một cái bệnh viện với đầy đủ các cái dịch vụ ở Việt Nam vì từ trước đến nay thì Rafi mở tất cả các phòng khám thì cái quy mô nó vẫn chưa đủ để phục vụ các bệnh nhân nên là muốn mở một cái bệnh viện Anh ừ. là một người có đam mê rất là mạnh mẽ về lĩnh vực uh, chăm sóc sức khỏe. Thì nói chung là tất cả các cái năng lượng, uh, thời gian anh dùng về dồn vào cho cái công việc chăm sóc sức khỏe rất là nhiều, làm việc rất là say mê và ông ông lựa chọn các bác sĩ và y tá rất là cẩn thận. Cho nên khi mà bệnh nhân mà bị ốm hay là cần giúp đỡ thì nếu mà đã biết ra đi rồi thì cái người đầu tiên mà sẽ nghĩ đến thì là sẽ là Rafi, vì những lời khuyên về mặt y tế ông đưa ra thường là, thường là rất là đúng và làm cho bệnh nhân có một cái cảm giác rất là yên tâm. I always say don't agonize, organize. Make it efficient, turn around. And that's one of the biggest issues, for instance, look in a hospital. The hospital I want to build 
is a, based on daycare. I don't want patients staying at night. By the way, today in the world, nobody builds hospitals. Nobody builds any more hospitals. They build centers which are super modern. Patient comes in the morning, procedure done, even he goes home. He goes home. Nobody's doing it anymore. Some cases you stay in the hospital, but most of them, patient goes home and he comes back in the next morning. Something like in Vietnam, it's not only because in Vietnam, the profit is to keep the patient as long as possible in bed. No, that's wrong. The patient should be at least time in bed. He should go home. If he stays in bed, he will get an infection from him and from him and from there and from that. So it's a turnaround thing. Yeah. And it's a different concept. I want short time because short time is also cheap. And cheap is affordable. After taking a tour to your clinic, I just uh, uh, have a, a question that in your clinic maybe we will cure uh, all of the, the, the disease, but how about in case that we have a, a serious or uh, dangerous disease? Give me an Can, example. Uh, for example, people they have some of a thing that they need to go to the hospital. Example. Uh, I don't know how to use the word in, can we use Vietnamese? Ví dụ như là chúng ta có chứng thương sọ não rồi hay là chúng ta có những cái cái bệnh u não cancer something like that yeah. perfect perfect I will tell you something okay hospitals are failure of the primary care system if you would have a good doctor in a good relationship with your neighborhood clinic you would come with cancer or in a very, very early stage because he will prevent it down the road. I can't do everything. <clears throat> Unfortunately, Vietnamese patients are coming many times, most of the times, too late. Because they go only when it hurts them. Because it costs money. So let's wait. Maybe it will go away. Sometimes it will. Sometimes, unfortunately, it will not go away. It will not only not go away, it will take you away. And this is where I come back to the health insurance. But if you would have a health insurance card which has agreement with the clinic, and you come in and say, hi, I am from comp uh, insurance A. And I say, yes, thank you, sign here. You don't have to pay anything. It's cashless. The insurance pays the letter to the doctor. You will not hesitate coming. You will come more. You will come because you don't have a problem of paying, you just now have a problem of priority and time. And that's the beauty of health insurance. Health insurance prevents hospitalizations. Let's not go to the hospital. The hospital should take care of really sick people, really sick people. I, as I may heard that from your house that you, uh, your clinics have also some other charity activities. Uh, can you tell me some of uh, activities that you have done before in China? Uh, we did activities in Kontum. I've been we done in Quang Bing. Um, Quang Bing was a very different project because Quang Bing, the people in Quang Bing, they needed proteins, iron. So we bought Mong Kai pigs and we gave every family a pig, Mong Kai pig. And I told them, look, I don't want now the family to starve and the pig will make, you know, because the pig has to eat, because the pig belongs to the foreigner. The pig is yours. But you can breed the pigs. I, I will, I bring in doctors, I bring medicine, I bring uh, equipment, I bring donations from the hotels and towers and, and, and everything. But after 10 days, I leave. What do I leave behind? Nothing. But if I leave pigs, they will grow the pigs. And the pigs will start, you know, inbreeding in the economy. So last time I brought pigs. And uh, I bought all the Mong Kai pigs in Vietnam, I think, from everybody knew in Vietnam, from Quang Ning all the way to, to Quang Chi, that Dr. Kot is looking for pigs, for Mong Kai pigs, because Mong Kai pigs, pig is small, it breeds fast, and it eats a little. Yeah. So like a car, you know, high mileage, little fuel. Mm -hmm. So Mong Kai pig was the good model. So we brought them pigs to it, and then and, and, and medicine. It, primary healthcare doesn't have to be 
just medication. It can be other things as well. Nutrition. What do you think you and your client contribute to the system? We contributed competition. We contributed a, a clinic with a good name, with a homogenic and 24-7 good service. A, we will contribute a hospital. Um, and we contribute in innovations. And uh, yes, we are champions of the kiosks, not of the uh, department stores. Okay, So we are good in polyclinics. And I am convinced that this is the way out. And this, I mean, this is the way out for Vietnam. Um, and we take care of the, a lot of the foreign community. And don't forget that the first question that a foreign investor who comes to Vietnam is asking two questions. Where's the school? Where's the clinic? And I can assure you there are two types of investor. There's the investor who comes by himself he comes on Monday by the flight from Singapore and on Friday he goes home to Singapore. An investor who comes with his family and stays in Vietnam for a long term. There is no question in quality which one you want to have. You want to have the long term guy, the one who lives here. Because he really contributes to the, to the economy. Not the guy who is touch and go. And this guy will not come if there will not be proper healthcare facilities. And it's a fact. After 26 years working in Vietnam, what is your biggest dream? I want to have a, I want to, my dream, my dream is not personal. I would like to see a vision, plan, a vision, innovative vision for the healthcare of, of, in, in this country. That's my dream. Hospitals, hospital is a check. I write money, we build a hospital. My dream is to change the priorities and the vision of the healthcare. I want to enable every Vietnamese to enjoy good healthcare. much for sharing with us so many useful information and even your biggest dream until now yeah uh, before we finish the program do you want to say anything to the viewers together with me yes sure okay one two three hi hey, good boy you Vietnam. Vietnam thank you and we have a small souvenir for you thank you yeah. very much okay this is your small souvenir wow. yeah. yeah you can hand it in your office thank you very much yeah. that's a very nice uh, thank you very much and hope you. you always take care and have uh, more and more contribution thank you very much thank you. thank you thưa quý vị chúng ta vừa đến với uh, những lời chia sẻ rất là chân tình và cũng đầy uh, tình cảm mà ông uh, profi đã dành cho việt nam cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi chương trình việt nam trong tim tôi số lần này ở những lần sau chúng ta sẽ gặp gỡ thêm nhiều nhân vật khác thú vị hơn nữa còn bây giờ xin chào và hẹn gặp lại Sơn bố sống và đam mê